This is a time in our country where there's a lot of potential, there are also a lot of traps. And sometimes I hear Christians that are so disappointed with how people are acting who don't follow Jesus. And I just want to add this comment, you know, be realistic with your expectations. And the potential is, Matthew 5, 16, let your light shine before other people. They may see those good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. And uh, realistically, someone who's not following Jesus, you can't really expect them to be like Jesus. Or uh, if they don't believe in the Bible, you shouldn't expect them to just be living out the Bible. And I'm not saying that you're better than someone else. If you follow Jesus, you're not. Uh, and I'm not saying that, oh, people who don't follow Jesus don't do anything right. No, a lot of them live very moral lives. But I'm trying to gauge an expectation. And when you expect someone to be like Jesus, to live like the Bible that doesn't have Jesus in their life, and then you get discouraged, and then resentment starts, it's just, it's a trap. It's a trap. So if you start with the expectation that someone's going to be like Jesus, then it doesn't happen. And then you go to, into a place of disappointment, um, then you distance, and you, you're discouraged, and you start to criticize, and now you slander, and then it just it goes down that negative downward spiral. Just stop that. That's a trap. That's a trap. Instead, you know, pray for the person and, uh, and then take the log out of your own eye and then let your light shine. Live for the Lord fully so that people might see Jesus through you in a time like this in our country where there's some traps and there's also so much potential.